Lebron, you're invited to our dinner party. Tonight's guests, author and actress Mary Lou Henner. She says we are stuffing our faces, but starving our bodies. Writer and radio host Doug McIntyre, who says the movie An Inconvenient Truth is full of lies. Comedian and commentator Stephanie Miller, she still drives an SUV, but she blames it on her dogs. Treehugger.com founder Graham Hill, he worries that people might suffer from green fatigue. We'll all be enjoying a meal from our guest chef, Michael Chiarello, the taste master behind Napa Style, who'll prepare one of his signature organic dishes. All from the eco-friendly Project 710 house here in Venice, California. Welcome to Supper Club. Books, 20, 30 books? Six books. Just Six three. books. Who here hasn't written a book yet? I haven't written a book yet. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. So three out of uh, six. I'm planning on reading one this year. Right? Good, done. Okay. Good, good. That's helpful. And we've, we've got uh, a wide variety of eating uh, histories here. I've known Mary Lou for how many years? Have a we long time. Uh, we know each other 11 years 11 now. years. That's right. Despite your energy level, no sugar, no caffeine no in dairy. your system. No dairy. No meat. This wasn't always true, though. Oh, well, for the last 29 years. Uh -huh. No, no, no. I got into it because my parents died in their 50s. My father died of a heart attack at 52, and my mom died of arthritis at 58. So when my father died, I was 17. I ate my feelings up to uh, 175 pounds. And then after my mom died, I said, it's really about not about my weight anymore. It's about my health. So I ate up information instead. So now, many years later, and a lot of health later, and yeah. books later. Yeah. Yeah. 29 so years. Uh, and yet you years. are probably the most energetic person <laughs> I know. Well, look at how many great animals, you know, are vegetarians. And they don't, you know, they, they're strong and they have a lot of energy and stuff. You so. basically think meat is, is what? I think meat and dairy are killing us all. Yeah. And eating up the environment and doing a lot of other bad things to people. Now, yes. Stephanie, you actually uh, got diagnosed with mercury poisoning. Although I just had a cheeseburger before I came here, and I feel like I may just pass out at any time. I'm, I'm not going to make it through this taping. No, we have a Hollywood purging room yes. right, there, right down there. But is it green? Is yeah. it green it's now? Green. <laughs> and do you oh, use is it, it as, green? Yes. Do you use the compost later? Yeah, that's right. I fertilize the lawn in the yard. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, it's all part of a you know, thematic uh, consistency. But weren't you like, you were like chowing down on tuna every day thinking, this is great for me. Yes, I, I was a bit of a sushi hoe, yeah. uh, if you don't mind, if you know the expression. And I, now, I have so much mercury up my butt, I can take my own temperature. <laughs> wow, really I got a visual great. on that. Yeah. 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 I'm, stu I'm, stuck on, I'm stuck on sushi hoe myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a human thermometer. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I went to for like just a regular uh, doctor's out. visit. Yeah, I was yeah. having a nervous breakdown. It was something else. And um, <laughs> they just did regular you know, blood tests and found out that my mercury level was astronomical. What was your wow. number? I don't, I, I don't remember, but it was something where the doctor goes, it's supposed to be two. This yours is 7,000. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Spit take. Ah. And so, was it so, so from something specific or just well, all eating lots I, of I fish? I did eat tuna a lot for lunch. Like, I, you know, I, wow. and I think a lot of times with women, in particular, you think you're being healthy, you're eating, right. you know, the more right. dietetic, more low-fat stuff. So I and ate a lot of sushi. And in water tuna. and all that stuff. So yes. it's definitely good for you. Yeah. Have, have you considered dolphin? Now. <laughs> oh, she may have had some of that. <laughs> Says the right wing host. Yeah. yeah, by the way, at today's dinner, I'll be playing the villain. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And now you have to, I have to go through chelation therapy, which is like you take pills and stuff, because yeah. you have to pull it out of your organs, because really? it can oh. cause like early Alzheimer's right, and stuff sure. like that. Are you that. doing the uh, infrared saunas as well? you got to do the infrared saunas. That makes a huge difference, because it gets into, you know, your, your fat is the poison carrier. So that's where it's kind of like sitting. And if you do infrared saunas, it pulls it right out of that. Did you, you have to do the big ping and the thing? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, thanks for bringing oh. that. Thanks for bringing yeah. that up. I'm going to be doing it all I'm getting hungry here, Tom. Are you getting hungry? No. Mary Lou Hunter's making me feel bad about everything already. Wait, no. Wait, and I she like seems so cheery. Time, you, you may want to just avert your eyes for a second. And <laughs> yeah. help. You have to, that's, how you have, yeah. that's how you do the you test to it find out, out your right. mercury. Well, you have to carry a jug around and, and pee in it uh, all day long. Isn't, Six that, hours. How, isn't this how, how Howard Hughes got started? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's your <laughs> It is aces for your dating life. Yeah. Oh, I bet. Well, it gives you something to talk about. Now, you, on the other hand, you eat 
you, there's you, basically fast food preserved. I eat garbage, and I'm the only healthy person here. Right. 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 Yeah, but you were born a brunette, though. No, no, you know, here's my feeling is I am helping the planet by eating only factory-made food loaded with preservatives. And here's my theory: yeah. one. Uh, none of it, we don't need to use up any land to grow anything because it's made in a factory and it's all chemicals. <laughs> and two, it lasts forever and therefore there's no expiration date and it doesn't rot and doesn't spoil so you don't have to keep making this stuff to replace the stuff that spoils on the shelves. Right. So I just make factory made stuff and you never hear about ho-hos or twinkies being recalled. So, but it's spinach, there's poisoning people, they're getting E. cola. So I'm just going to stick with factory-made food and see what happens. But then so. you're factory-made yourself. Then every little cell in your body is made from, like, you know, the factory. And that's your faulty material. So this is the sushi-ho versus the ho-ho debate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this is how I must got in trouble, by the way. This is exactly what I the cost of his career. So, now, Graham, you and I share this in common. We don't cook. We don't. Not, Not so much. All. No. <laughs> so save us from this, ourselves. So Tom, right. this is the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> okay. This little thing here, if you touch it, you'll burn yourself. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> That's Good. Good. There. Yeah. And, and what uh, what do we got first of all before we start preparing the main meal, which I think even you, Doug, will like? Uh, what is it that they're looking at as appetizers here? This is a very simple kind of old world farmers market kind of antipasto. An antipasto like this in the '60s would have been whatever was fresh in the garden that you'd pick it up, you had a tomato, you had a zucchini, a little bit of fennel, and if you're a cheese eater, just a touch of, just a little bocconcini of mozzarella on the side, uh, a bruschetta of bread, actually yesterday's bread, no need to throw away mm -hmm. yesterday's bread, you mm -hmm. turn it into a toast and you eat it, and you eat it the following day, which is, uh, which is really good and adds a nice little texture. These are all seasonal and, uh, and, and local? Absolutely, absolutely. Right. You know, when we cook, I live in the Napa Valley, we do about a 100, 100 mile compass and we look around and the first place we go is inside that compass. And it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's actually hard, especially in, in February, there's not much inside the compass. Imagine if you were in Iowa. Yeah. You know, in, in, right. in, in February. But it's pretty easy. If you use your farmer's market, if you go to the grocery store, you look at what's the biggest display of things. That's mm -hmm. what the, the grocers are making the most money on. Right. It's also probably what's best in season. Mm -hmm. Right. It hasn't traveled a long way. So we try to keep the carbon footprint down, try to be, be farm to table, actually trying to discover the difference between taste and flavor. If you know the farmer and you get a chance to have a relationship with him just a little bit, makes it taste better. By the way, can I just say to Absolutely. Mary Lou for a minute, mmm, cheese. Is it good? Okay, mm. and it's only supposed to turn a 50-pound calf into a 300-pound cow in six months. So if those are your aspirations, mm. knock yourself out. Wow. She's, so, she's so harshing my buzz tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the only farmer I know That's is okay, Farmer I love John. He makes Dodger dogs. <laughs> but you know what? Your hair would go back to dark if you uh, went to detox. Really? Was that, that true? Would... Mine no, it back? really is. My husband did that, and his hair went from that color to... You know, your no colors. But my I swear hair, to God, my hair is I'm blonde. not kidding you. Okay, well, to blonde, to blonde. So he was going to white. He was, yeah, yeah and he and had it, two cancers. And, and so, off. yeah. And yeah. This was so, shortly to, to after follow. you got married, right? Yeah. No, shortly after we got together oh, again. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. All right. But it does change. All right, so let's uh, let's start into because I, uh, I I'll I'll nibble during the commercial nibble break a little bit. But can I help you uh, yeah, now, now get these, started? This is a knife; they're very sharp. So if you like your digits, but if you can cut those for me, what am I cutting here in the what you call your the kitchen. Kitchen. kitchen? Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's some broccoli, Rob. This is what broccoli looked it's like broccoli before. Tom. <laughs> broccoli Tom. That's what broccoli What's looked that? like, like in the wild, before it turned into the broccoli that we see today. <laughs> that sort of day glow green that's in the exactly chain supermarket. with the, with the really things. with the really okay. big, all right, so the big flower. Just just cut them into thirds, just straight thirds. down. All right. Dear God, so, please be no, careful. Be careful. So yeah. the, the broccoli that we normally see is much sort of bushier and shorter, and that's, yeah, that's bushier, and, and and it's actually you know it's it's been encouraged to get to be a particular shape. How do they, how do they oh, encourage it? Yes, in this it? country, bigger is better. <laughs> the, uh, so size doesn't matter with broccoli. <laughs> So I'm gonna add a little to flavor know. matters. Oh, okay. Flavor Flavor's matters. more important than size. This show's on late, I hope. <laughs> so this is a little pasta dish. We're gonna cook the broccoli rob first in, in our pasta water. I'm adding okay. some gray salt. I'll tell you about that a little bit later gray during the break. That's okay. what salt looked like before we made it white. Wow. Okay, so you can go ahead and put that inside right. the water. Okay. I've taken some Zinfandel, and we're going to boil this down. Is this into from a, your own vineyard? It is. It is from he my vineyard. He said knowingly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little organic Zinfandel. We're going to reduce this down. Yeah. I'm going to cook. I'm going to take this out in a couple of minutes. Okay. I'm, I'm going to put my pasta in there. All it's right. going to cook in the same water to save as much water as we can as we cook the broccoli raw. All right. We're going to take we're a break during those a couple of minutes, but just tell us the title of this, the main menu.